What's the difference between assist control and SIMV? Let's go find out. Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want more of this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and if you hit the bell, you'll get notified whenever I release more content. Assist control ventilation can be a combination of mandatory and assisted breaths. So the patient can initiate a breath, however, the ventilator will de deliver that breath according to set parameters input by the user. These could either be pressure parameters or volume parameters. If we look at the example here, we can see that the volume has been set to 500 mils. The first breath delivered is a mandatory one. Maybe the set rate is 15 breaths per minute and the patient has not initiated a breath within the set time. So the machine then delivers the set breath and it does so to the 500 mils set. The next breath is initiated by the patient. You can see the small negative flow generated by the patient. This trigger can be set to make it easier or harder for the patient to trigger their own breath and this is often done as you start to wean the patient. The machine is set to detect this trigger and when it does it will then deliver the set volume. The advantage of assist control ventilation is that it guarantees a set minute volume and has a low work of breathing for the patient. The disadvantage is that it does not compensate for the patient's work of breathing. So if the patient breathes really quickly they can hyperventilate which drops their carbon dioxide which can also cause an alkalosis and hypotension. Synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation or SIMV almost always combined with pressure support is a mix of mandatory breaths some of which are synchronized with support and assisted breaths. You can see in this example that there is one breath which is a mandatory one and then a triggered breath which has a much smaller tidal volume. The patient is trying to breathe for themselves and SIMV will let them do so to a tidal volume they are able to. This ensures that they do not hyperventilate. This mode then is more suited to the patient who needs to start doing some of the respiratory work for themselves. They're starting to use their own muscles a little more. By decreasing the mandatory rate we can enable the patient to work a little harder. If the patient is initiating breaths but they are of a poor volume we can introduce some pressure support to help imp improve the tidal volumes. This pressure support can also be gradually weaned down as the patient improves. So SIMV may be the start of the weaning process for the patient. I hope you're finding these videos useful. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell button and you'll be notified whenever I release some more. We'll speak again soon.